Did you know that there is an arbitrage between two stock market exchanges that very few people know about? Here's what I mean. You can literally buy a stock of a company before it goes IPO on NASDAQ. Wait a minute. I'm confused. I thought that an IPO is when a private company goes public on NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange. Yes, most of the time, that's true. A private company goes public on NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange. However, in some instances, there is a different way. And this is exactly the arbitrage that I'm talking about. Let me give you an example. I just made $2 million on Aduro Clean Technologies. Aduro Clean Technologies just went public on NASDAQ in November 2024. And I bought the stock somewhere around here before the IPO on NASDAQ. Aduro was already trading on a secondary exchange called Canadian Securities Exchange before the IPO on NASDAQ. It was already public and because most of the people, I would say 99.9% .9 of investors in the United States don't even know Canadian Securities Exchange exists. And because of this, I was able to buy shares on the cheap because I had barely any competition from other buyers. And now that it is trading on NASDAQ, I already have my shares and the stock is literally going up every single day because it's being re-rated. Now, before I tell you all the details about why this is possible, I believe that Pluralak Security is the next stock that's going to follow a similar path to Aduro Clean Technologies. Like Aduro, Pluralak Security is currently trading on a secondary exchange. And it is just a matter of time before it also goes IPO on NASDAQ. So today, you can literally buy the stock of Pluralock, get the shares on the cheap, and when the company does IPO on NASDAQ, those shares will be re-rated. And why do I think that Pluralock is going to IPO and NASDAQ at some point? Because the management is already hinting. Do you, do you think that uh, Pluralock's at a stage yet where it would be ready for a NASDAQ listing or an NYSE listing? I think NASDAQ is probably closer than what people think. And also, the majority of revenues come from the United States. So Pluralock Security has no business of trading on a secondary exchange in Canada. So how is this possible? Well, think of the two exchanges in the following way. The secondary exchange is kind of like a garage sale that has not a lot of traffic, not a lot of people know about it, a lot of garbage trades on garage sales, and New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ is like a high-end shopping center with a lot of traffic, with a lot of visibility, with a lot of good products. Also, the garage sale, which is like, the, again, the secondary exchange, is filled with garbage products, right? And people come to the garage sale to buy cheap stuff. That's Canadian Securities Exchange, Toronto Stock Exchange Venture, and OTC, which stands for over-the-counter. Now, again, NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange is like a high-end shopping mall that is located in a good area with a lot of traffic. And if you're smart, you can go and find good products on a garage sale and resell them at a high-end shopping center. That's what this arbitrage is all about. This is what I did with Aduro Clean Technologies, and this is exactly what I'm currently doing with Pluralock Security. But before you get all excited and start buying garbage on a garage sale or a secondary exchange, keep one thing in mind. You can't just buy garbage on a garage sale and expect to resell it for a higher price at a high-end shopping center. 
You have to be selective. You have to buy the good stuff. And the same thing applies to these stocks. Arduro Clean Technologies has an amazing technology for plastic recycling. When the company was trading on the secondary exchange, it was simply not being appreciated there. The investors that came to the garage sale didn't understand the company and didn't appreciate the company. The moment Aduro uplisted or did the IPO on NASDAQ, the stock price exploded. I mean, look at it. It is going up almost every single day. I believe Pluralock Security is also special. It is trading under two, two ticker symbols, PLUR on Toronto Stock Exchange Venture and PLCKF on OTC or over-the-counter. Similar to Aduro, because Pluralock is currently trading on the secondary exchange, it is not getting the attention that it deserves. It is not being appreciated for what the company is. The stock is so cheap that it's almost unbelievable. The market cap or the value that the market assigns to the entire company is about $25 million. In 2023, do you know what the revenues were? Their revenues were $70 million. Seven zero. This means that Pluralock is trading at a fraction of revenues. It is trading for about 30% of yearly revenues. Do you know what industry Pluralock is in? Cybersecurity. Yes, cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is hot. CNBC is talking about how cybersecurity is the next AI. I think one of the areas that has been very lumpy uh, is in cybersecurity. And I actually think that cybersecurity is going to be just as big as AI. Some people are saying that Palantir, which is in cybersecurity, is going to be the next NVIDIA. And yet, Pluralock is trading for a fraction, fraction of revenues. You can't find another company in cybersecurity that is trading on a normal exchange, not a secondary exchange, not a garage sale. You cannot find another company that is trading for a fraction of revenues. You can't do that. Palantir is trading for 61 times revenues. Palo Alto Networks is trading for 16 times revenues. CrowdStrike is trading for 28 times revenues. Pluralock, on the other hand, is not trading for five times revenues, two times revenues, one times revenues. No, 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 no. It is trading for 30% of revenues. This is a complete insanity. And look at this. Their clients are U.S. Army, U.S. Navy, U.S. Treasury. I'm not making this up. These are their clients. They just announced $19 million contract with an S&P 500 company. This was their biggest contract in the company's history. Look at these contracts. 5.4 million here with a law enforcement agency. Look here, 6.2 million with US Treasury, 2.5 million with US hospital system, 4.7 million from US public library. Outside of these contracts, Pluralock partner with CrowdStrike. Yes, CrowdStrike, which is a $85 billion company wanting to do business and partner with this tiny company, Pluralock Security. Maybe, maybe there is something special about Pluralock. And also, look at the people that just joined Pluralock's advisory board. Brian Cunningham, former advisor to Palantir and a former White House lawyer. Joe Sexton, former CrowdStrike board member. Ron Wilson, president of Best Buy Canada. So Pluralock has 70 million of yearly revenues. Clients like US Army, US Navy, US Treasury, semiconductor companies. It is getting incredible contracts. Prominent people are joining their advisory board. And the stock is trading for a fraction of revenues 
revenues that are in cyber security that is getting hotter and hotter every day. And this is mostly because the stock is trading on a secondary exchange that barely anybody knows it even exists. And I like to call it, call it not a secondary exchange, but a garage sale. That's where it's trading, on a garage sale. Now, I do want to bring one very important thing to your attention, which is the chart. The chart looks absolutely horrible, and that's another reason why it scares people from buying it. So as you can see, from like the early 2024, the stock went from like 20 something cents to over $2. And then since then, it sold off. And it looks like a pump and dump. But you have to look deeper as to what happened. You see, the company somewhere around here was in need of money. And because the company was not being appreciated on this secondary exchange. It was valued so low, and when it needed money, it diluted a lot because it raised like $5 million. It had like 10 million shares at that time. And when it raised the extra five, it created um, like 300% or more of dilution. So instead of 10 million shares, another 20, 20 million or so were printed, and also more shares were printed as a result of warrant exercises. But when the company raised the money, the people that put in the money at this level had their shares locked from trading for at least four months. They weren't able to sell them for four months. So during the four month period, new people learned about the company and there was only 10 million shares available. And because of that, the stock price ran up very quickly. And when the unlock happened, in other words, people that put money into the private placement were able to sell the shares. They wanted to lock in the gains and more, peop more shares outside of the 10 million become, became tradable. So it became from 10 million to 20 million to 30 million to 40 million shares. The number of shares exploded. And this put a lot of pressure on the stock price. But it seems to me that we reached a point where the unlock happened. A lot of people that wanted to, sh uh, to lock in the gains sold. And now we are left with a company that is valued at 30% of revenues. Because at the end of the day, price is what you pay, value is what you get. The company is trading at a fraction of revenues, is getting incredible contracts, has incredible clientele, is in a cybersecurity business that's hot. But biggest reason why the stock is so cheap is because it is trading on a secondary exchange. And I believe that Pluralox Security will follow the same path as Aduro. It will uplist to NASDAQ. And the opportunity here is to get the shares on the cheap, when they are trading on a secondary exchange, hold them and hold them even beyond when it uplists to NASDAQ. Uh, but the uplisting, I believe, is going to create more appreciation for the company. More buyers will be able to access the stock because right now a lot of people cannot buy the stock and a lot of people are afraid to buy the stock. When they see a five-letter ticker symbol, they are afraid. It's a penny stock. Stay away. It's dangerous. The moment it uplifts to NASDAQ, everything changes. Now it becomes okay to buy the stock.